Good day and welcome back. Today we are going to continue with common fractions and looking at percentages. When we think of a percentage, is a specific fraction with a denominator of 100. So you can use your knowledge to change any fraction to the equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100 before writing that fraction as a percentage. And the sign used to indicate percentage is that one right there. So next up, common percentages that you need to know. 1 20th is equals to 5% because it is 5 over 100. How did we get it? We multiplied the top and the bottom with 5 since 20 times 5 is equal to 100. Remember, we multiply with 5 over 5 because it is one whole and the multiplication property of 1 states that anything multiplied with 1 remains the same value. 1 over 10 is equals to 10%. We multiplied with 10 over 10 to get to 100. A fifth is equals to 20% because we multiply 5 with 20 to get to 100. What we do at the bottom, we must do at the top. A quarter will be 25% because you multiply 4 with 25 to reach 100 and you also do it at the top. A half will be 50%, three quarters, 75%, and one whole will be equals to 100%. So how do we convert fractions to percentages? As we said, we first need to change the denominator to 100. So you find the factor you have to multiply it with to get reach 100. I've noticed that I must multiply with 5. What I do at the bottom, I must do at the top. And 13 times 5 is equal to 65. 20 times 5 is equal to 100. So I can write it as 65%. Now, how do I convert percentage into fraction form? We've looked at that now. Then we multiply the fraction and the whole. And then we can calculate a percentage of a whole. This is how to calculate the percentage of a whole. We need to convert things first. So let's have a look. If I ask 30% of 90, I change my percentage to a fraction out of 100. I change my whole and make it a fraction over 1. Why? The division properties of 1 states that any number divided by 1's value will remain the same. So I then I can look at factors they have in common. I can see that 30 and 10 are both divisible by 10, or 100 and 30. Then it will become 3 over 10 multiplied by 90 over 1. Or I can go a different route and see that 100 and 90 both have a factor of 10. I divide both by 10. Then I have 30 over 10 times 9 over 1 and both methods will give me the exact same answer since 3 times 90 is 270 and 30 times 9 is also 270 10 times 1 is 10 10 times 1 is 10 I divide 27 by 10 and I have 27 so 30% of 90 is 20 7. Then we are going to look at percentage increase or decrease and we have formulas for this. Percentage increase, I take my new number, subtract my old number, I divide it by my old number, remember that fraction line represents division and then I multiply it by 100%, 100% I can then write as 1, 100 over 1. Percentage decrease, I take my old number, subtract my new number, I have it over my old number, and I multiply with 100. Let's look at two examples. There has been an increase from 25 to 40. Calculate the percentage increase. Then I have to use my formula. So my new number is 40, I replace it. My old number is 25. I put it in my formula. My old number is 25. I multiply with 100 over 1, which is 100%. 40 
40 minus 25 will give me 15. I have 15 over 25 multiplied by 100 over 1. And these are quite big numbers if we start multiplying. So let's check for factors. 15 and 25 both have a factor of 5. So I can change it to 3 over 5. I divide it by both by 5 times 100 over 1. Or I can see that 25 and 100 both have 5 as a factor. I will divide oh, 25 with 25, which will leave me with 1. And 100 divided by 25 will leave me with 4. So if I say 3 times 100 and 5 times 1, it will leave me with 300 over 5. Or 15 times 4 and 1 times 1 will leave me with 60 over 1. And anything over 1 is just that number. Or I can say 300 divided by 5, which will leave me with 60% increase. If we look at an example for percentage decrease, there has been a decrease from 880 to 72. Calculate the percentage decrease. So the value declined. I take my old number, the 80, subtract my new number, the 72, and I divide it by my old number, the 80, and I multiply with 100%, which can be written as 100 over 1. I replaced it into my formula. 80 subtracting 72 will give me 8 over 80 times 10 over 1. Then I can look for factors. 8 and 80 both have a factor of 8, which will leave me with 1 over 10. Or I can see 80 and 10 both have 10 as factors, which will leave me with 8 and 10. So I will have 8 over 8 times 10 over 1. If I look at this example, it will give me 100 over 10. Or if I calculated it this way, it will give me 80 over 8. 100 divided by 10 is 10. 80 divided by 8 is also 10. So I have a 10% decrease. I hope you learned something new today. Stay safe and talk to you next time.